Hi there. Today we are going to see how we can do a Cisco Smart Licensing on FMC platform. What is FMC? Um, Firepower Management Console? Fireside Management Console? Yes. With uh, version 6.7, um, you know that we, now, we can now uh, manage FTD uh, devices on the FMC. And uh, Cisco is also providing the licensing using a smart feature. Um, so now we are going to le learn how we can do the smart licensing on the FMC consoles. Uh, Cisco FMC is actually communicating the uh, smart licensing feature on the Cisco CSSM portal. What it called Cisco Smart Software Manager which is available on the cloud. So uh, any devices that you integrate with FMC, uh, the FMC is actually establishing a communication with the CSSM and it keep on send, uh, send and receive the synchronized uh, information for the licensing and it keeps updating the information from the Cisco uh, licensing cloud. So based on this, uh, if any of the FTD device that you manage on the FMC that is being expected to renew or expire, the FMC will send a notification automatically uh, if you have enabled the notifications for your uh, CCO ID. So um, there are two types of licenses. Uh, one classic licenses, which is a very legacy and a traditional one, and the latest one, uh, smart licensing. The actual FMC comes with the two types, one virtual, the other one uh, hardware. One key thing that we need to remember, if we are using a virtual FMC uh, and you wanted to manage uh, FTDs onto it, there is a separate license that is specifically needed uh, when you wanted to manage those devices through uh, smart licensing which is called the Firepower MCV device license. Uh, without that, the device cannot be able to uh, uh, monitored or managed through um, Cisco uh, uh, CSSM portal. You would uh, actually receive out of compliance error uh, on the FMC. So please make sure um, if you are planning to obtain um, smart licensing for your FTD devices, uh, you might uh, need to uh, request your AC, uh, a Cisco AC, to include a Firepower MCB device license that is mandatory for PMC based smart licensing feature to be enabled. Uh, but other than that, the term based licenses for uh, threat, malware, and UL productions are optional uh, based on your device uh, placement, uh, like if it is internal, WAN, or internet. Uh, you can uh, procure those uh, licensing uh, and uh, you can apply to those individual FTDs. Okay, let's get into the uh, uh, practical session. Once you successfully log into your Cisco portal using your uh, CCO ID, you'll have to move to uh, Smart Software Licensing to see the list of uh, smart licenses that was procured for your uh, corporate. So the virtual account is something uh, uh, kind of a profile where uh, uh, the licenses will be pushed or will be made available to be downloaded or assigned. Uh, it's just the naming uh, purposes. Uh, company companies has a different entities or MSSPs uh, within the corporate will will divide the licenses based on the individual names. So virtual account is just kind of a folder where you will um, allocate the licenses to. Once you um, get into the smart, smart software licensing under your specific virtual account, you'll be able to uh, generate the token for FMC to uh, get it registered with the CSSMM portal. So over here, uh, you need to click 
new token under which you can just give a description so the expire after is just for uh, the token that you are creating is uh, how long it needs to be available on the portal once you um, create the token you just need to copy this and go back to your cisco firepower management center under uh, settings licenses smart licensing product registration click on add product once you click that you have to paste that uh, token and click apply changes it will uh, try to communicate to uh, uh, cs sm cloud to get it registered so one key thing is to remember the fmc server should have internet access enabled or internet access enabled through proxy uh, it does not need to be enabled to any destination in the internet um, once you find the cssm cloud ip address range uh, you can enable that range alone in your perimeter firewall so it, it it's going to take maybe like one or two minutes to get the fmc console registered now the fmc is registered with the cssm and next is to add your new ftd device into the fmc console move to devices and device management um, you just need to input uh, the key things like uh, ip address and display name registration key which was earlier used to to configure in the ftd for uh, registering sorry managing the device from the fmc console uh, and then the access control policy um, if you don't have any new access policy created you have to create one if you have access control policy according to your uh, network uh, topology um, you can just uh, reuse of that access control policy or uh, if you wanted to work uh, create a brand new you can create that uh, by clicking under uh, access control policy um, button so based on the smart licensing um, software that you procured you just need to enable that and click register that will uh, uh, make sure to add the device uh, into the fmc console so this is going to take maybe like one or two minutes as it is um, as it is going to be a first time job it needs to establish a communication with the device uh, and uh, yes uh, it will uh, complete the registration or adding the device to it yep uh, the device has been added uh, most likely uh, this wouldn't take much long yep successfully added thank you so much thanks for watching